Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do a simple example, but that example will really help us understand the relationship between parametric equations and vectors in three dimensions. So here the question says, find the parametric equations for the line passing through the point 1, 2, negative 3 and parallel to the vector A defined as 4i plus 5j minus 7k. So what we need to realize here is that a vector which can be written, of course, in this format, 4, 5, and negative 7 are basically the amount of the change in the variables x, y, and z when there's a change in the barometric variable t. Even though it's not specifically stated, these really represent the slopes of the change in x, y, and z if there's some singular change in some parametric variable driving that change. So the vector really represents how fast x, y, and z will be changing relative to one another. So when x changes by 4, y will change by 5, and z will change by negative 7. In addition to that, we're given some point that the line passes through. That can be defined as some initial point, some starting point. So if that's some starting point, some initial x, some initial y, and some initial z position, and then we know how much it changes. That's all we need to set up the parametric equations because the parametric equations are defined as some initial point plus how fast they're changing when some external parametric variable changes. So let's go ahead now and write these variables. So we have x is equal to some initial position in x, which is defined by this point right there, plus the slope, how fast x is changing, which is defined by the x component of the, of the vector a, so that would be 4 times t. y is defined as the initial position y, which is defined by 2, plus the change in y, which in this case is going to be 5 times t, and z is defined as the initial position, negative 3, and the change, which in this case is minus 7, so minus 7t, and so therefore these are the three parametric variables that are defined in such a way that they will pass through this point because when t is equal to 0, the x, y, and z will have the values equal to this point and this is how fast the values of x, y, and z will be changing for each unitary change in the parametric variable. In other words, the parametric variable drives a unitary change in x, y, and z and the amount of that change is defined by the slope of the parametric equations 4, 5, and negative 7. And that's how we understand better the relationship between vectors and parametric equations in three dimensions.